Welcome to our channel! And today we are going to show you what it takes to get from the US of A to Monte Picchu. And to answer all of those little questions and all of those little details that you have so that you are comfortable on your journey to Monte Picchu. The first thing you need to know is there are no direct flights from the continental USA, so you need to make a choice on where you'd like to make that connection in order to get yourself to Cusco, Peru, which is your first place that you need to land in order to start your trek to Monte Picchu. Hey, it's Doug and Nikki, photographers with a passion for travel and adventure. This series of videos is about our own personal Peruvian adventure. And we're going to show and tell you everything you need to know to make your Peruvian experience an Amazon amazing one. So here we are at JFK and this is our first leg of our trek to Montepichu. We'll show you what it takes to get there. Let's check in. We're at gate A3. Trace. Yeah, A3. It is, what time? We're going to Columbia, it's Trace. 10 to 12. Our flight is at 1.10. We'll see what time we depart for <laughs> Bogota, Columbia. The first leg of our, our trek to Montepichu. We decided on Avianca and we took business class, which goes through Bogota, Columbia to Cusco. Super great flight. We have a flight review you can check out above. <laughs> So we are on Avianca flight 245 from JFK to Bogota. We're landing. So now we are on to leg two. We are here in Colombia. Bogota, now we don't have to come back. <laughs> We've seen Bogota. Let's go check into our gate. Cool. So we are Colombia. in the Bogota Colombia. El Dorado Airport. Hey, you. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Thank good morning. You. Welcome aboard. Thank you. To A and C. To you are. So we are now on board Avianca Flight 145 from Bogota, El Dorado to Cusco, Peru. It is 7 a.m. here in Bogota because the time changed. It is 6 in New York and we should be taking off shortly. flight we didn't even have any turbulence as there's a lot of turbulence sometimes I think around the mountains and stuff we had nothing it was smooth bright sunny day out I think it's about 60 degrees oh there's some <laughs> and it is 11 o'clock or close to 11 so we are on time and uh, it's been a great flight yes you did a wonderful job flying us here yes so everything was going fine. We had a great flight from Bogota to Cusco. Uh, not so fast. We spoke too soon. We are not going into Cusco because... <laughs> We're not landing in Cusco because they can't see the runway or the mountains and they need to be able to see them to land there. They need a visual landing um, that's all they do in Cusco because it's so high, the mountains, and yeah, so that's Yeah, so it's like when yeah. you get your first pilot's license. Yeah, so, yeah, we got the uh, report that... But we're going to a new city, we're going to Lima <laughs> now. The whole Lima. trip has changed, we've got a new leg on our trip. So we'll figure out what goes on with flights, um, because flights into Cusco don't operate at night time either, so... We'll see when the next flight in. Maybe it is tomorrow. Yeah, good. Okay. So off to Lima we go. But but we did arrive to Cusco on time. The, the airport they said was right below us, so they, the, everything was on time. It's just, it was just a matter it. of yeah weather. So they said it, it happens a lot in June. June in the wet rainy season. 
Right. And they circle a couple of times, they wait for the weather to change, but it did not change. So we were diverted to Lima, which is about an hour and 15 minutes away. So we went through the whole process. Thank you so much, thank you for your understanding. All right, we're off our plane. We're going to get our luggage and crap, and then check on to another plane to go to Cusco, whenever the weather clears in Cusco. So for now, we're in Lima. We had to recheck in, we had to go to the ticket counter, we had to get a new seat assignment. So we are now in the arrivals area of Lima. We're through Customs and Immigration, and now we're looking for desk 4041 to find a new flight. Okay, welcome. You travel with Cusco? Yeah. Okay, this should be one of the advantages of flying business class. While everybody from our plane is trying to figure out a way to get out, we get to go first. So we'll see how that works. I'll let you know. Okay, there the man, they got us on 145. 145. It's going soon. Awesome. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so she's in the ladies' room right now. That's security behind us. We have gone through the entire airport in like 20 minutes. In a hectic few hours. We have um, had our flight canceled to Cusco while we were circling over Cusco because the weather was so bad. We flew into Lima. In Lima, we actually ran through immigration, customs, and then we came upstairs, went through the went through security, and now we're standing here and our gate and we're gonna head to our gate, gate 10, 145. It is 145. Now hopefully the weather will have cleared so that they can actually land the plane and we can start the party. And you've been working hard. Yeah, I can see you running around. Thank, Thank you. you. You're left. Thank you. in Cusco, Peru after a very long day and a missed transfer um, pickup which our hotel had arranged for us but it's okay you don't have to worry about it if you don't have prior arrangements made at the airport or you don't have a car um, arranged what you do is you just grab your bag at the carousel and take your bags outside walk outside the exit door and there's a whole bunch of people um, taxi people standing outside some of them have names for people you will see waiting for individuals and other people are just offering their services and you can negotiate with them at that point and see how much you want to pay we paid $20 US and it was for a um, van because we needed a larger vehicle because we have a lot of luggage that's due to me and you go to the little ticket booth you pay them directly at the ticket booth and then they take you to the vehicle. It was all super easy. The guy was super nice. Okay, we got Drito helping us out here. So it's about a 20 minute drive from the airport to our hotel, which is in the center of the city near Plaza de Arms. And it was smooth. It was a rainy day as you can see, but um, it was a nice ride through the city. I arranged for us to stay in Cusco overnight. As I said, our flight took a long time. So by the time we reached Cusco, it was about 4 p.m. And a lot of people do head directly into the Sacred Valley to avoid altitude sickness. Ah, ah thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We did come prepared. We had started our anti-altitude sickness medication the day before. And we also drank the coca tea, which most hotels when you're checking in um, provide you with coca tea and it's really yummy. We were okay. Those things helped for us and it enabled us to stay overnight and not have to rush into the Sacred Valley. 
We had stayed at a wonderful hotel, which you can also check out. The bed post tucking. So now that you're in Cusco, you need to get to Agas Caliente. Caliente is the town in which you catch the bus to get up to Monte Picchu. Agus Caliente is a non-vehicle town, so you have to get there by train. The steps that you can get there are leave Cusco and take a train from a train station, Polroy outside of Cusco, directly to Agus Caliente, which is about three and a half hours, or you can head into the Sacred Valley and take a train from Aliente Tambo and take that train and head into Agus Caliente. So what we decided to do was we didn't want to miss the Sacred Valley, so we spent the day heading through the Sacred Valley. As you'll see, it is beautiful. You definitely gotta check it out. So we are in the van and we are leaving Cusco. We are now on the fourth leg of our trip to Montepichu. We are headed into the Sacred Valley. Driving. We aren't driving. No, we're not we're being driving. Driven. Miguel is driving. <laughs> Miguel is driving. So, just kind of letting you know in terms of distance, going from Cusco to Urumbamba would be about an hour and 20 minutes normally, but we have spent um, a good part of our yeah. day cruising stopping. around. Yeah, exploring. stopping and cruising around, stopping to really cool places. We just saw a festival. Really great day. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So, well, our journey is definitely taking a little bit longer and people can do it shorter. We went from Cusco to Urimbamba, which is a town that a lot of the major hotels are located in. And that's a 30 minute drive to the um, Aliantambo train station. So we decided to take our time and explore the Sacred Valley during the day. And then we're gonna stay overnight at Tambo del Inca, another fabulous hotel. You gotta check out um, our review of the hotel. Next morning, we had arranged for a pickup at our hotel. We had a fabulous driver. He was so nice. He picked us up with our luggage because we are staying overnight in Agas Caliente. It is a 30 minute drive from our hotel in Urumbamba to Aliantambo train station. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you in a couple of days. We are headed to Aliantambo and it's about half an hour from the Tambo del Inca in Uriambamba. <laughs> <laughs> which is behind us. We have a 9.15 train and it says we need to be there at 8.45, which it is, so we are going to go in. And how long is our train? What time does it get there? You're gonna say. We'll update you on how long it takes to get there. Because honestly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> have a hour and a half train ride through a little more of the valley to Agas Caliente. The train was really nice. You can check out uh, the train ride that we did, get a little feel for it. And there's some little tips on there on where to sit and what seats and stuff. Check that out. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes, we will be arriving at the final station. Machu Picchu Pueblo. Thank you. Thank you. We're officially here. Machu Picchu Pueblo. Yeah, yeah, not quite Machu Picchu yet, but we still got a half hour bus ride and then we'll be at Machu Picchu. Exactly. We'll show you the bus. 
Okay, we have finally made it to Agus Caliente. Once you're here, because we had luggage, some of you will arrive with just your day pack because it's a day trek that you are taking, but we are staying overnight and we, from the train station, took a short five minute walk to our hotel, dropped off our luggage, and then we were off to the stop where you catch the bus. Now we had pre-arranged with our guide to buy us bus tickets as he had also done with our train tickets so we didn't have to worry about figuring out train tickets when we were there. They were all pre-bought. The tickets were all given to us when we arrived which is another benefit to doing all this prior to arriving. And so once we got to the bus station, you have like a 10, 15 minute wait for a bus. But now this was the afternoon entrance. So we were at the bus station at probably 10, 30, 11 a.m. and we had 10 minute wait. If you're there first thing in the morning and the first entrance to Monte Picchu, that line can be all the way up the hill. As you'll see, there's a big hill that you come walking down in the Pueblo to the bus station but um, for us it was about 10 minutes and super easy. So if you can, arrange to buy bus tickets prior to getting to Monte Picchu. It makes things much easier as well as your train tickets. So we specialize here. Yes. It is 11.30 so we arrived in Machu Picchu Pueblo at 10.30. We checked our bags at the hotel and then we came down to get a bus and it's 11.30 now. So in the amount of time it took us, we've been waiting about 10 minutes. And then the bus ride. It is definitely not as treacherous as I was told and what I was reading online, like all oh, these hairpin turns. It was bumpy. It was definitely super duper bumpy, but it was not like some scary ride. Yes, there were some, some spots where it was definitely very close to the edge and a little, you know, nerve wracking, but it was not some crazy scary bus rides. You don't have to be concerned with that. And it was, you know, a very nice bus for what it was. I was definitely not expecting quite that quality that it was. It wasn't like a super high end quality, but it was definitely pleasant enough for riding and they have overhead shelves where you can put your day packs and stuff like that as well. What leg number is this? I'm going with this is like leg six. Six, the bus. On a journey. Yeah. Through Peru. <laughs> After the 30 minute ride, you arrive to the, the entrance area that you will go into Monte Picchu. This is the beginning of a fabulous day. I cannot tell you how amazing Monte Picchu is. I just wanted to make sure that I gave you all these little steps because I know for myself, if you're anything like me, I was trying to understand what does it really take to get to Monte Picchu? So I hope that this fills in the blanks for you and that you can now understand how long the trek takes and what's involved in getting to Monte Picchu. And most of all, I hope it is the most memorable experience for you, just like it was for us. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Wanted to let you know we now have a Patreon page. We hope you check out. And we are also an Amazon affiliate. We have all the links below for all of the products we use and tell us what we have. All right, so here's the equipment that we use on a regular basis and it takes a beating as we travel the world. So we have to keep replacing it. And that's why we started the Patreon program and the Amazon affiliate program. All these things, the L-series lenses, the DJI, drones, Canon bodies. We love our Canon equipment, obviously. Uh, we use lots of different... Of uh, GoPros. There are a bunch of <laughs> GoPros which go everywhere, a bunch of different gimbals and microphones, depending upon what we use. If you're interested in any of this stuff, if you're going to buy it for your own photography, use our links below and purchase it there. It really helps us out a lot. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the little bell below once you do so you can get regular updates and we really appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching.